Good day, ma'am, and to all of my classmates. Today, we are going to talk about EOQ model and financial statement analysis. So, what is EOQ model? Economic order quantity model, also known as EOQ model, is the size of the order which total of ordering and carrying costs at our minimum. So, let's divide the parts of this meaning. First, it is the size. Meaning, it is the quantity of your order. For example, like 500 units, 1,000 units, 100 units, or any units. That is the quantity of your order. Next, total of ordering and carrying cost at our minimum. It simply means that the number of the units that is beneficial to the company that they will order. Because when you order that quantity, the ordering and carrying cost will be minimum. The target of EOQ model is to get the optimal quantity of inventory. Meaning, ma-maximize ang optimal of inventory cost na hindi masyadong mataas ang ordering cost and carrying cost. So, ibig sabihin, pantay lang sila. Okay, so let's dive in in the meaning of ordering cost and carrying cost in order to fully understood what is EOQ. There are three parameters of EOQ model. These are the purchasing cost, ordering cost, and carrying cost. In purchasing cost, we assume that the price of the unit is fixed. For example, you have this business in Rizal and you need 200,000 sacks of palay in a year in order to produce a milled rice to be sold in the market. Now, you want to get your order here in Occidental Mindoro. Okay, so take note, you want 200,000 sacks of palay for a year for your business. Okay, so let's say that each sack of palay cost 1,000 pesos. So, 200,000 sacks of palay times 1,000 peso is equals to Yes, 200 million pesos. Therefore, your purchasing cost is 200 million pesos. You need 200 million in order to accomplish your target numbers of sacks of palay in a year. So it means that the purchasing cost is what you pay to purchase the goods. Now, what is ordering cost? It is the cost you incurred every time you purchase your order. Example of this are transportation expenses, documentation expenses, inspection expenses, and many more. Each time you order, you will pay ordering costs. For example, 1000 is the amount that you are going to pay per order. And you are going to order quarterly in a year. So using that example we have earlier, 200,000 sacks of palay divided by 4 since it is quarterly. So the answer is 50,000. Correct. You will order 50,000 sacks of palay each quarter. So how much does it cost? To compute the ordering cost, 4 orders times 1,000 is equivalent of 4,000 pesos. So this is the meaning of ordering cost. The cost which is associated with the purchasing or order of materials. Then we have this carrying cost. After we purchase the sacks of palay and we already traveled it, that's for example like what I said earlier. Yung bigasan natin ay sa Rizal at kukuha tayo ng palay sa Occidental Mindoro. So after na makuha na natin at mabayaran yung ordering cost, syempre ano ang next natin gagawin sa mga palay? Siyempre, kailangan natin ng lugar na pag-storage nito. Kailangan natin ng um, storage building. So, para doon natin ipasok ating mga palay. That is what we call carrying cost. The cost of holding of inventories in the store. For example, cost of storage. Insurance cost also, di ba? Para kapag halimbawa may nangyari hindi naman natin gustuhin, may nangyaring hindi maganda, meron pa rin tayo makukuha. Um, pambawi sa ating mga gastos. Okay, so those are the three parameters of EOQ model. 
purchasing cost is fixed while ordering cost and carrying cost have a negative relation. Why? Because when the ordering cost is more, carrying cost is less. If carrying cost is more, ordering cost is less. Vice versa lang yon. So let's proceed to the computation to fully understand the concept behind the EOQ model. So let's use again our previous example. Let's say you are from Rizal and has a business of Bigasan. You wanted to purchase 200,000 sacks of palay in a year from Occidental Mindoro kasi may gilingin ka naman. So let's know the negative relationship of ordering cost and carrying cost using the 200 sacks of palay in a year. So we have here OC stands for ordering cost and CC which is carrying cost. We also have here quarterly, 6 months and 1 year. So let's say you wanted to buy your order quarterly. 200 sacks of balay divided by 4 since it is quarterly. So the answer is 50,000. You will order 50,000 sacks of balay each quarter. And the ordering cost per order is 1,000. So how much does it cost for a year? So 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. Okay? So you will pay 4,000 for ordering cost for a year if you will set it quarterly. So now, what will happen to the carrying cost? You will look for a warehouse that can accommodate 50,000 sacks of palay. So the payment is not that much. Let's go to every 6 months. 200,000 divided by 2 is 100,000. So you will have 100,000 sacks of palay each order. So two orders because you order twice in a year times 1,000 is equals to 2,000 pesos. You will pay 2,000 pesos for ordering costs for a year if you will set it every six months. So what will happen to the carrying cost? Since it is 100,000 sacks of palay, you will look for another warehouse that can accommodate that much. So the payment will be much higher than the first scenario. Okay, let's proceed to the last scenario. Let's say you will order 200,000 sacks of palay at once. Therefore, the ordering cost is much lesser than the two previous scenario. Because one order time times 1,000 is only equals to 1,000. But the carrying cost is much higher because the more sacks you ordered at once is the more payment we need for bigger warehouse and insurance. So we see that ordering cost is decreasing while carrying cost is increasing. So let's put it in a graph using this x and y. Um, yeah, this x and y. So let's see. Let's say this is the x, diba? Yan, tas ito ang y. Uh, so x represents as our inventory cost. <laughs> So, this is the inventory cost. Tapos, ito naman ay ang ating inventory quantity. So, now, let's put a line. So, this one. Okay? So, anong nire-represent niyan? So, habang konti ang binili na sako ng palay, mas mataas ang inventory cost. So, habang dumadami ang bili ng saho ng palay, mas bumababa naman yung inventory cost. So, ito ang re-represent ng ordering cost. Okay, let's put it as OC. So, now, punta naman tayo sa carrying cost. So, this is, this one is the carrying cost. Okay, balik muna tayo sa OC. So, bakit? Kasi nga, ba sa ate uh, explanation kanina, so, habang dumadami yung quantity natin, mas konti, kapag konti yung ating time of order, nabawa, yung kanila, quarterly. So, quarterly, konti lang yung in-order natin. So, mas mataas yung inventory cost kasi 1,000 per order yung ating babayad. So, sa isang taon, may 4,000 tayong babayaran. Pero habang tumatagal, kasi gusto natin yung 
thousand na sako ng palay ay ma-order ng isahan. So, ang order ordering cost is 1,000 per order. So, mas bumaba pa yung inventory cost. Tumataas ang um, inventory quantity. O yan. So, yan ha. Kung bakit ganito ang live. Now, sa carrying cost naman po. Yan, CC. So, the more na konti yung bilang ng ating sako ng palay, mas maliit yung inventory cost. Kasi nga, di ba po, pag dumadami yung ating order ng palay, ng sako ng palay, mas malaking warehouse yung kailangan natin. Or mas malaking bayad sa insurance yung kailangan natin bayaran para ma-accommodate at mabigyan ng security yung ating produkto. Kaya, mas tumataas ang inventory cost. Ngayon, saan po dito papasok ang EOQ? Or Economic Order Quantity Model. So, dito po iyon. So, dapat sa nag-i-intersect. Ayan. So, ito po ang ating Economic Order Quantity. Kasi ito yung best time na pwede nating orderin kung ilan ba yung quantity na gusto nating order at kung magkano rin. So, para ma-minimize yung cost nga ng inventory cost. Kasi nga, di ba po, ang purpose ng EOQ ay ma-minimize, mapababa yung ating inventory cost. Okay, this is the formula of EOQ. So, EOQ is equals to 2 times A, which is stands for annual demand or consumption, times O, which is ordering cost per order. Take note of this word, per order. Okay, per order. Then, divide by C, which is carrying cost per unit. So, this one is per unit. Ha? Ang carrying cost ay per unit. Tapos, square root. Now, so let's have this problem one. So, using the example that we have uh, previously, so, I named our rice distribution company as BA200. So, BA200 rice distribution company purchase sacks of palay at a cost of 1,000 peso per sack. Okay, ilan po ang halaga ng bawat sako ng palay? 1,000. The annual demand is 200,000 sacks. So, ang gusto nating kunin or magkaroon tayo ng supply na 200,000 sa isang taon. The ordering cost per order is 1,000 pesos. Okay, ordering cost po natin per order, per order po ang ibig sabihin ha, yung kada uh, punta sa atin ng ating palay from Occidental Mindoro to Rizal. So, nagkakahalaga po siya ng 1,000. And the carrying cost per sack, per sako po tayo is 250 pesos. Okay, so let's go to the formula. Let's, let's use this. So, ulit po tayo, ang ating annual demand is 200,000 sacks of palay. Then, our ordering cost is 1,000 pesos per order. And our carrying cost is 250 pesos per sack. So, EOQ is equals to square root of 2 times A times O divided by C. So, okay. So, inilagay na po natin dito. Square root 2, kasi nga po, 2 times 200,000, yun po yung A natin, times 1,000, which is our ordering cost. Divide 250 peso, which is our carrying cost. So, pag-compute po natin yan. Okay, so let's compute po. 2 times 200,000 times 1,000. Sige, compute po natin. 2 times 200,000 times 1,000 is equivalent of 400 million pesos. Wow, laki sa na all. Then, divide by 200, 200 50 divided by oh sorry 250 okay so we have 1 million 600 so that 1 million 600 is square root po natin 1 million 600 thousand okay so we have 1264.91 so year round of natin 1265 Ayan. So, 
Yan po yung bilang ng ating sako na order rin. So, 1,265 quantity. Okay? So, yan po ang ating EOQ. So, let's go naman to the problem 2. So, kasi gusto nating malaman, nalaman na natin ilan po yung o-order rin natin. Ngayon, aalamin naman natin ilang beses tayo o-order na 1,265 na sako ng palay para ma-achieve natin yung ating um, desire na 200,000 sako of palay per year. Na, syempre, balance lang yung, yung ordering cost and yung carrying cost para ma-achieve natin yung goal ni EOQ or Economic Ordering Quantity. Okay, so let's check this. So, problem 2, using the given scenario in problem 1, ito, 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 ayan, calculate the number of order to be placed in a year. Okay, so again, we have annual demand, which is 200,000, the ordering cost, which is 1,000 pesos, and the carrying cost, which is the 250 pesos. So, kanina, kinumpute natin, review lang po natin, EOQ is equals to square root of 2 times annual demand times operating cost divided by carrying cost. I'm sorry, ordering cost pala, hindi operating. Okay? So, 2 times 200,000 times 1,000 divided by 250,000 square root of that is 1,265 quantity. That's the EOQ. Now, let's go to the number of order to be placed. So, ano pong formula niya? Annual demand divided by EOQ. Annual demand divided by the EOQ. So, we have 200,000 na annual demand divided by our two, ay 1,265 quantity. Okay? So, pakita po natin. Okay. So, 200,000 divided by 1,265. Okay. So, ang lumabas po is 158.1. Yan. So, pag niround off po natin, 158 lang. So, ibig sabihin, we have 158 orders annually. So, we are going to order 1,265 uh, 1, sacks of palay. Ilang beses? 158 times of orders annually sa loob ng isang taon. So, kailangan natin bumili ng 1,265 sacks. 100 ng, sa loob ng 158 times sa loob ng isang taon in order to achieve the economic order quantity. Now that we already know how to solve the EOQ and kung paano ito nakaka-apekto sa ating business, uh, mas i-highlight natin ngayon yung importance of economic order quantity in business. Okay, so the EOQ model plays an important inventory optimization role across many sectors. First, in retail. So, retailers can minimize losses from spoiled, expired, or obsolete inventory. Big sabihin po, ang EOQ ay nakatulong sa ating retail um, businesses para hindi ma-spoil yung panis at matsayang lamang or ma-expired yung mga produkto at magresulta sa losses ng kita. Then, in manufacturing naman po, manufacturers can reduce raw materials and finished good inventory cost. So, pagdating naman po sa automotive, it can help automotive part vendors wherein they can avoid overstocking or slow moving of parts na meron sila. Implementing an EOQ model can help businesses cut inventory cost, reduce waste, improve cash flow, and enhance operations, ultimately boasting its profitability. So, that's all po, and thank you for listening. I hope na understand po natin, and if you have any question, feel free to ask po. God bless po.